والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا الحسين سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ان شاء الله we will be exploring some ayat from surah fatir and the ayat are relevant to what we are going through during the month of ramadan ان الذين يسون كتاب الله وأقاموا الصلاة وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانيا يرجون تجارة لن تبور ليوفيهم أجورهم ويزيدهم من فضله إنه غفور شكور والذي أوحينا إليك والذي أوحينا إليك من الكتاب هو الحق مصدقا لما بين يديه إن الله بعباده لخبير بصير ثم أورثنا الكتاب الذي نصفينا من عبادنا فمنهم ظالم لنفسه ومنهم مقتصد ومنهم سابق بالخيرات بإذن الله ذلك هو الفضل الكبير سبحان الله these are ayat يعني uh, relate to what we're dealing with during the month of Ramadan those who recite the book of Allah إن الذين يتلون كتاب الله وأقاموا الصلاة they establish the salah and alhamdulillah whether it is you know the five daily salawat or the extended salawat we have been doing throughout the month in Taraweeh and we have been also uh, expanding our ibadat financially spending from what Allah had given to us in secret and in public those who are doing these things they're, they're engaged into a, a, a business or a, or a deal uh, with Allah that never goes bankrupt we know in this dunya that there is two possibility: possibility of success with your business and there is a possibility of failure. But this is a, a business that never goes bankrupt. لِيَجْرُونَ تِجَارَةً لَنْ تَهُونَ لِيُوَفِّيَهُمْ أُجُورَهُمْ وَيَزِدُهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ And Allah Azza wa Jal will be paying them their wages in fully. لِيُوَفِّيَهُمْ أُجُورَهُمْ وَيَزِدُهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ And will be giving them on the top of that from his fadl, from his provision. إِنَّهُ غفور شكور as Allah Azza wa Jal is the غفور and he is also the شكور and between two brackets you know we are in the nights in which we need to be mindful about the dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allahumma innaka afuun kareemun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anni I made a short reminder about that those who follow me on social media can inshallah watch this video which I posted yesterday inshallah about this specific dua you know Allahumma annaka afu wa tuhubbu al-afwa The meaning uh, that we need to be mindful and observe in our يعني, uh, uh, remembrance of this dua through, through these blessed nights of the month of Ramadan. وَالَّذِي أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ مِنْ الْكِتَابِ And what we have revealed to you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, of this Qur'an, هو الحق. It is indeed the truth. It's endorsed by what has been revealed from those to those who came from before you. And Allah Azza wa Jal is fully aware of uh, His servants. Khabir aware of what they inter how they interact and deal with with the scripts that was revealed to them, and 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 basir and khabir basir aware and monitoring what they're doing. Then, and then Allah Azza says that we have uh, revealed the book. To, uh, to those whom we have selected from our servants. Who are the selected from the servants of Allah Azza? You. You are being selected to be blessed with this magnificent gift of Allah Azza that is called the Quran. This is يعني, a big ni'mah. This is the most, the, the most you know, beautiful gift that Allah Azza has bestowed unto us as Ummah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yet Allah Azza is saying that though I have chosen you and given you this Qur'an, you are with your interaction with the Qur'an on three categories. And by the way, this ayah is perceived with the ayat أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ أَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ ثَمَرَاتٍ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهَا Allah Azza Jal said, did you not see that how Allah sent down from the sky rain? And brought out with it different uh, vegetations or uh, fruits with uh, fruits with different colors. And you know this ayat in the an indication to يعني, show you that th there is connection with the Quran and and with with what Allah Azza wa Jal 
yani, uh, sends down from the sky. Because the Quran also comes uh, as a revelation to us from, from the sky through Jibreel alayhi salam. So the first category, volume on the Oppressor unjust to his own self. Why? Because they do not take the Quran as serious. They do not take the Quran as their guide. The Quran is not, you know, a part of their life. It's not their partner. It's not their, you know, their guide. The Quran, excuse me, the Quran does not, you know, penetrate their heart and, and change their, their, their life, with their, their, their interaction with others around them. You know, the Sahaba used to, you know, uh, receive the Quran and immediately interact upon it. They used to recite the Quran and ponder on it. And, and the Prophet Sallallahu would spend the whole night pondering and reflecting on one ayah. One ayah only. This is, yeah, this is how magnificent the Quran is. We just need to allow it to, to reach our heart and to, and, and, and to give us the chance to be a part of it. And, and I know some people might be saying, you know, Quran and Arabic language and all the details. Yes, indeed, the Arabic language is the key for the Quran. But mashallah, look at this, you know, books we have here. The tafsir of the Quran is written in different languages. So there's no excuse for us to be saying, well, I, I, how can I interact with the Quran? Get, reach out, you know, take the, the initiative. Even Arabic speaking people need to go to the Quran tafsir to be able to comprehend and understand the essence of the Quran. And there are those who are just on their uh, you know, interaction with the Quran. Those start worshiping Allah on the edge. If the goods befall unto them, they're, they're good. If anything else befalls unto them, they, they react uh, uh, quite the opposite. And there are those who are um, exhalers in their approach and interaction with the Quran. Just like, you know, how the, the, you know, the Sahaba interacted with it. Just like so many generations that comes after them who have, you know, comprehended the Quran, who have taken the Quran not only as, you know, uh, mazamir, as, you know, uh, vo vo vocal, you know, uh, recitation to soothe the heart. Though this is one of the, you know, beautiful meanings and, and, and you know, uh, and applications of the Quran that it soothes the heart, but also beyond the soothing of the heart there is the comprehension of the Quran the interaction with the Quran to allow the Quran to you know change your your your, your way of seeing things in life I always connect things with what's happening in Gaza yani, subhanallah we know that one of the most huffad population in the region is in Gaza the, 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 this is like, you know, subhanAllah, the, 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 it is the Qur'an that is what is making the difference right now. It is the Qur'an what has made the people for the past six months being able to stand up and, and, and not to be defeated with their own spirit. By the will of Allah, not by your own intelligence or your own, you know, uh, uh, initiatives, but it's by the will of Allah, Azzawajal. Indeed, the East Exhalers, those who have interacted with the Quran, those who have absorbed and interacted with it in their life, have achieved the biggest fadl of Allah Azza. So what's the fadl of Allah Azza? Jannat wa adni yadkhulunuha. Yuhallawna fiha min asawa min dhahabi wa lublu'a wa libasuhum fiha harid. Ya Allah, may Allah make us from them, Ya Rabbi. Allahumma ameen. Jannat wa adni, the gardens of Adn. They will enter into it. fiha will be dressed and will be will be you know uh, uh, you know given the, the bracelet of of uh, of gold and pearls and will be dressed with the garments of silk. This is beautiful honor, beautiful honor from Allah Azza wa to those who will take by the Quran and you know we encourage young, you know, the young generations to take by the Quran to honor your parents as we know that the, the hereafter the Parents will be honored as a result of their children interacting or taking by the Quran. Praise be to the mighty Allah Azzawajal. The one who has taken away from us, Hazan. Hazan, agony, pain, difficulty, challenges. You saw that, you know, 
which video was circulated and, and, and went viral on social media. He was shot by the drone, and then immediately he bowed in sujood. He made sujood to Allah Azzam to say that I am Ya Rabbi in my last breath making ibadah to you of sujood. He, he, he got martyrdom, shahada, in the position of, of sujood. Later on, we, we heard what's behind this, uh, you know, karama that Allah Azzam had given to this person by, by taking him as a shaheed. In, and, and you know, in the position of, of, of sujood to him, he was a Quran reciter. He was a Quran memorizer. He was. He used to lead, you know, uh, people with the Quran. But it seems like not only vocally, but also from the heart and with with the full interaction with the Quran. Alhamdulillah, hazan. Inna shakur. As our Lord, the Mighty, is ghafur, forgiver, shakur, will be compensating those who. Do things with multiple, you know, folds in return. The, the one who have uh, awarded us with the dar uh, al-muqama, the abode of eternal uh, uh, eternity, the eternity living is in the jannah. Here in this dunya, regardless of how you know much we struggle and how much we achieve and how beautiful we try to make our accommodation is, it's finally going to be left behind. You will be leaving the dunya and moving on into the akhirah. Out of his own blessings and, and provision, not because of our own actions or our own amal. You know, hard working, you know, difficulties and challenges, waking up. Uh, you know, many of us probably went to bed by 2 o'clock or, or 1 o'clock and you wake up again, once again, 3 o'clock, this is over. After from now on until once you step into the Jannah, alhamdulillah, all the the difficulties, the challenges, the you know the the, the pain and all, the struggles, us, it's all gone. This is it. Now you're in the Jannah. لا يمسنا فيها نصب ولا يمسنا فيها لغوب لغوب you know تعب or, or you know uh, or you know struggle. والذين كفروا quite the opposite. لهم نار جهنم their abode will be the hellfire or the fire. لا يقضى عليهم فيموت يا الله يا الله برحمة ناس they will not, you know, be, uh, they will not die so that their struggle will end. They, they're in a continuous struggle. And the, the punishment would not be reduced unto them. No matter what they scream, what they do, what they, what they you know, what they complain, nothing is going to happen. They will be remaining in that, in this, in, in this tournament. And this is what is the reward of not kafir kafur, exaggerated in his kufur and rejection to the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. وَهُمْ يَسْطَرِخُونَ فِيهَا Ya Allah, and they scream, you know, Allah Azza draws for us يعني, beautiful images to how the people of Al-Jannah will be entertained and will be yeah, living in comfort and, 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 you know, enjoying their life and quite the opposite, how these people of the hellfire will be screaming, يَسْطَرِخُونَ فِيهَا رَبَّنَا أَخْرِجَنَا عَمَلْ صَالِحِ Ya Allah, let us out so we can do something, you know, صالح, good in our life. غير الذي كنا نعمل but, You know, away from what we used to do in this dunya, because we were living in neglection. أولاً نعمركم Did we not give you enough time? We gave you, you know, نعمر means give you enough time. You reach the ages of, you know, 30, 40, 50. وجاءكم النذير أولاً نعمركم and the warning came to you. What's a nadir? The Quran. The Prophet ﷺ. The gray, you know, hair you see in the mirror when you look every morning or in every uh, you know, end of the day. This is a nadir, a warning from Allah Azza All the signs that you see once in a while that reminds you of Allah Azza are nadir, a warning for you. Taste what you have, what you deserve. As the tyrants, the aggressors, as the you know the wrongdoers have no alliance from no wrong. Inna Allah alim wa yibus samawati wal ard. Allah is fully really aware of what's the unknown of the skies and the earth. Inna hu alimun bidat al sudur. He is fully really aware of what's in the chests. Meaning to say, it's not you know Allah will be you know doing this to them unjustly. 
Allah knows even if they were to leave the, the hellfire and go back again to the dunya, will be repeating the same what they have done from before. May Allah Azza make us from those who will be inshallah a word with Jannah to add into the Tahdi al Anhar. Ya Rabbi Allah, Amin, Anna Allah, Kulshan, Qadir, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wassalamu